Hello guys, welcome to Amazing Engineering and today in this open phone tutorial we will see how to set the combustion case using reacting foam. For this purpose you can use SOLIDWORKS to create a simple combustion chamber like this and we have to, we have to export it as a step file. So let's go to file, save as and in file format select step file. Now let's open Salon, let's go to Geometry Field. In File Properties we set meters as length units and now we can import our geometry file. We can, we can call it Combustion Chamber. And now we have to create the graphs for boundary condition and for the mesh. So let's click on create graph, select face graph. This face is the inlet section of the fuel, so we can, we can call it the fuel. This one is the inlet section of the air. This is the outlet. These two faces are from back. And now we have to select the walls. So we can click on select all and we can remove the other faces. For example, the full face. the outlet face the edge face and from back faces so these are the graphs for the boundary condition now we have to create the graphs for the mesh so let's go to create graph again The first one is a source face and we select the back face destination face and we select front face and one element edges And we select this segment. Apply and close. Now let's go to Mesh Field, select the domain and click on Create Mesh. We can, we can call it Combustion Chamber. And we set Extrusion 3D. Apply and close. Now we have to create the sub meshes. So select Destination Face, we can call it Destination and we set projection 2D then surface 
with said netgen 1G, 1D, 2D, and as hypothesis netgen 2D parameters, with set 0 as minimum sites and 0.00 or as maximum sites. And at the end, one element ages. We set wide discretization and, as hypothesis, number of segments, setting only one segment. Apply and close. Now let's compute the mesh. So the mesh is made up by around 19,000 of, of volumes. Now we can import the geometrical graphs inside the mesh. So click on Create Graphs from Geometry and select Fuel, Air, Outlet, From Back and This is Walls So let's go to Create Graphs from Geometry and select Fuel, Air, Outlet, From Back and Walls. Now we can export the mesh as a UMV file. And we can save it inside the work directory. Now let's open the work directory. And let's use Bash and Ubuntu application to reach the work directory. So change directory mnt c users admin desktop reacting foam. Now we can use the command ideas umb to foam. Let's go to image directory and in the boundary file, we set patch boundary condition for the fuel, air, and outlet, empty for from back, and wall boundary condition for walls. In chemistry properties, we have to set the type of solver to use, for example, the Euler implicit method. In, uh, in uh, coefficient, coefficient, we have to set the value of uh, Euler coefficient, while, while equilibrium, rate, equilibrium rate limiter is uh, a parameter which puts a limit to the rate of uh, equation parameters. You had better to set it as off. While in old coefficient, coefficient, we have to set the parameters of Guyen solution method. So, as solver, we can use the third and fourth order equation of Rosenbrock, and we have to set the values of relative and absolute tolerance. In combustion properties, we can set a laminar or turbulent combustion. In reaction file, we have to set the elements involved in the reaction, the species they, com the species they compose, and in reactions, in reactions, we have to set the type of reaction, so we are considering the methane reaction. We can use the Arrhenius reaction model, and this is the type of reaction. In thermophysical properties, we can set similar parameters used in heat transfer case, specifying that the mixture in this case is the result of a combustion process. The nitrogen is in inert, an uh, inert space, so it is not involved in the reaction. As chemistry reader, we can use a foam chemistry reader. And uh, 
it has to read the file reactions and the thermocompressible gas. At the end, in turbine properties, we can set a laminar flow. Let's go to zero directory. In y default k, uh, in y default file, we have to set the type of boundary condition for the species involved in the reaction. So we can use x value for the fuel and air. In outlet boundary condition for the outlet, which means that we will have a zero granular boundary condition for the flow outside the domain and a calculate a calculated value for the flow inside the domain, empty for from back and zero gradient for walls. In velocity file we can set fixed value for fuel and air, so as you can see the air moves in the opposite direction of the fuel, empty for from back walls for the no slip for walls, and for the outlet the pressure inlet outlet velocity boundary condition which set zero gradient boundary condition for the flow outside the domain and the calculated value of velocity for the flow inside the domain. In temperature file we can set fixed value for fuel and air Inlet outlet for the outlet section, empty for from back and zero gradient for walls. In pressure we can set zero gradient boundary condition for the fuel, air and the walls, empty for from back and total pressure for the outlet, which means that uh, we will have a fixed value P0 for uh, the fuel for the flow outside the domain and uh, a calculated value for the fuel for the flow inside the domain. In alpha, so the eddy thermal diff diffusivity of the case, we can set a fixed value for fuel and air, zero gradient for outlet, empty for from back, and alpha wall function for the walls. At the end, for all chemical species file, we have to set the percentage of elements that make up the mixture. For example, for our case, we can set that uh, we can say that the fuel is made up by 100% of methane, while the air is made up by 23% of oxygen and 77% of, nit of nitrogen. So in oxygen file, we set 0 for the fuel, 0.23 for the air, inlet outlet for outlet, empty for from back and 0 gradient for walls. In nitrogen, file, we set 0 for the fuel, 0.77 for the air, inlet outlet for the outlet, empty for from back and 0 gradient for walls. In a water file, we set 0 for fuel and air because uh, like CO2, it is uh, a result of the reaction. Inlet outlet for the outlet, empty for from back and zero gradient for walls. In CO2 file, we can set the same boundary condition of uh, water file. And in methane file, we set one for, for uh, fuel, zero for the air, inlet outlet for the outlet, empty for from back and zero gradient for walls. Now we can set the parameters of the simulation in uh, control dict file and uh, because uh, like uh, piece of foam, reacting foam is uh, Uh, is a transient solver, so we have to set we have to set a very little value of delta t and uh, right interval, and uh, 
re remember to set zero as put write in order to have a series of put write directories during the simulation. So now let's start the simulation using reacting foam. So as you can see we have a series of put write directories. Now we have to open ParaView with paraphone command. Select a physical property, for example temperature. Change color map to blue to red rainbow for a better view. And let's start the simulation. So this is the fuel, this is the this is the air, which are moving inside the domain. We can also skip to a series of uh, iteration, for example, we can set the iteration number 160, click on play, and uh, as you can see, we have, we have uh, very high values of temperature inside the domain, because, uh, as you know, the Methane reaction is uh, an exothermic reaction, which means that uh, it uh, emits a certain amount of thermal energy, which will increase the temperature inside the combustion chamber. Okay guys, this is all for today. I invite you to subscribe on my channel and see you for the next video.